Question number 26. An IT administrator has the requirement to control access to a specific app resource using multi-factor authentication. What Azure service satisfies this requirement? Option A. Azure authentication. Option B. Azure authorization. Option C. Azure AD. Option D. Azure function. The correct answer is option C. Azure AD. You can use Azure AD to control access to your apps and your app resources, based on your business requirements. In addition, you can use Azure AD to require multi-factor authentication when accessing important organizational resources. Question number 27. Who is responsible for the security of the physical servers in an Azure data center? Option A. I am responsible for securing the physical data centers. Option B. Azure is responsible for securing the physical data centers. The correct answer is option B. Azure is responsible for securing the physical data centers. Azure is responsible for physical security. Question number 28. Azure services can go through several phases in a service lifecycle. What are the three phases called? Option A. Private preview, public preview, and general availability. Option B. Announced coming soon, and live. Option C. Development phase, QA phase, and live phase. Option D. Preview phase, general availability phase, and unpublished. The correct answer is option A. Private preview, public preview, and general availability. Private preview, public preview, and general availability. Question number 29. Which Azure website tool is available for you to estimate the future costs of your Azure products and services by adding products to a shopping basket and helping you calculate the costs? Option A. Azure Advisor. Option B. Microsoft Docs. Option C. Azure Pricing Calculator. The correct answer is Option C. Azure Pricing Calculator. Azure Pricing Calculator lets you attempt to calculate your future bill based on resources you select and your estimates of usage. Question number 30. Which European nation has its own Azure region that is specifically set for strict adherence to data privacy standard unlike any other region? Option A. France. Option B. UK. Option C. Norway. Option D. Germany. The correct answer is option D. Germany. Azure Germany has a unique instance of Azure Cloud that follows Germany's extra strict privacy standards and even has a data trustee. Question number 31. What is the basic way of protecting an Azure Virtual Network subnet? Option A. Azure DDoS Standard Protection. Option B. Network Security Group. Option C. Application Gateway with WAF. Option D. Azure Firewall. The correct answer is option B. Network Security Group. Network Security Group, NSG, a fairly basic set of rules that you can apply to both inbound traffic and outbound traffic that lets you specify what sources, destinations, and ports are allowed to travel through from outside the virtual network to inside the virtual network. Question number 32. What is the default amount of credits that you are given when you first create an Azure free account? Option A. Azure does not give you any free credits when you create a free account. Option B. The default is 200 US dollars. Option C. You can create one Linux VM, one Windows VM, and a number of other free services for the first year. Option D. You are given $50 per month, for one year towards Azure services. The correct answer is option B. The default is 200 US dollars. There are some other benefits to a free account, but you get 200 US dollars to spend in the first month. Question number 33. What benefit does a content delivery network, CDN, provide its users? Option A. For a small fee, Azure will take over management of your virtual machine, perform OS updates and ensure it's running well. Option B. Allows you to store data that can be retrieved later in an extremely fast and inexpensive manner. Option C. Allows you to keep temporarily session information on the web visitor such as their login ID or their name. Option D. Allows you to reduce the traffic coming into a web server for static, unchanging files such as images, videos and PDFs. The correct answer is option D. 
allows you to reduce the traffic coming into a web server for static, unchanging files such as images, videos and PDFs. Content Delivery Network allows you to improve performance by removing the burden of serving static, unchanging files from the main server to a network of servers around the globe. A CDN can reduce traffic to a server by 50% or more, which means you can serve more users or serve the same users faster. SAS. Question number 34. Who is responsible for the security of your Azure storage account access keys? Option A. I am responsible for securing the access keys. Option B. Azure is responsible for securing the access keys. The correct answer is option A. I am responsible for securing the access keys. Customers are responsible to secure the access keys they are given and regenerate them if they are exposed. Question number 35. Your organization has implemented an Azure policy that restricts the type of virtual machine instances you can use. How can you create a VM that is blocked by the policy? Option A. Use an account that has contributor or above permissions to the resource group. Option B. The only way is to remove the policy, create the resource and add the policy back. Option C. Subscription owners, administrators, can create resources regardless of what the policy restricts. The correct answer is option B. The only way is to remove the policy, create the resource and add the policy back. You cannot perform a task that violates policy, so you have to remove the policy in order to perform the task. Question number 36. What are Azure Availability Zones? Option A. A folder structure in Azure in which you organize resources like databases, virtual machines, virtual networks, or almost any resource. Option B. Within each individual data center, certain racks of servers have been architected by Azure to have higher uptime than the others. If you place your apps onto this rack, you'll get higher uptime than if you let Azure do it. Option C. This is the same as a region. Option D. A feature of Azure that allows you to manually specify into which data center your virtual machines are placed, which allows you to achieve higher availability than any other option. The correct answer is option D. A feature of Azure that allows you to manually specify into which data center your virtual machines are placed, which allows you to achieve higher availability than any other option. Availability zones, unique physical locations within an Azure region, made up of one or more data centers. There is a minimum of three zones in each region. You can manually place your resources in an availability zone for highest availability. Question number 37. If you wanted to simply use Azure as an extension of your own data center, not primarily hosting anything there but using it for extra storage or taking advantage of some services, what hosting model is that called? Option A. Private cloud. Option B. Hybrid cloud. Option C. Public cloud. The correct answer is option B. Hybrid cloud. The hybrid cloud is a mixture between private services, like your self-hosted applications, and public ones, like extra storage. Question number 38. What makes a system highly available? Option A. If it maintains 100% availability. Option B. It's not possible to make a highly available system. Option C. A system specifically designed to be resilient, with no single point of failures. Option D. Must have a minimum of two VMs. The correct answer is option C. A system specifically designed to be resilient, with no single point of failures. High availability, a system specifically designed to be resilient when some component of the system fails. Question number 39. What is the main management tool used for managing Azure resources with a graphical user interface? Option A. Azure Storage Explorer. Option B. PowerShell. Option C. Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP. Option D. Azure Portal. The correct answer is option D. Azure Portal. Azure Portal is the website used to manage your resources in Azure. Question number 40. Outlook 365 is what type of hosting model? Option A. PAS. Option B. IaaS. Option C. SAS. The correct answer is option C. SAS. Outlook 365 is software as a service. SAS. Question number 41. Which major cloud provider offers the most international locations for customers to provision virtual machines and other servers? 
Option A. Microsoft Azure. Option B. Google Cloud Platform. Option C. Amazon AWS. The correct answer is Option A. Microsoft Azure. Azure has the most regions of any major cloud provider, 58 global regions. Question number 42. Which tool within Azure helps you to track your compliance with various international standards and government laws? Option A. Azure Government Services. Option B. Service Trust Portal. Option C. Compliance Manager. Option D. Microsoft Privacy Statement. The correct answer is Option C. Compliance Manager. Compliance Manager will track your own compliance with various standards and laws. Question number 43. True or false, there are no service level guarantees, SLA, when a service is in general availability, GA. Option A. False. Option B. True. The correct answer is option A. False. False. Most Azure GA services do have service level agreements. Question number 44. What service does Azure provide as an optional upgrade to protect against DDoS attacks? Option A. Azure protects against DDoS as part of its basic offering and there is no service you can upgrade to. Option B. Azure DDoS Protection Standard. Option C. Azure DDoS Protection Basic. Option D. Advanced Threat Protection, ATP. The correct answer is Option B. Azure DDoS Protection Standard. Azure DDoS Protection Standard. Question number 45. Which of the following is something that Azure Cognitive Services API can currently do? Option A. Speak text in an extremely realistic way. Option B. All of these. Azure can do it all. Option C. Recognize text in an image. Option D. Recognize faces in a picture. Option E. Create text from audio. Option F. Translate text from one language to another. The correct answer is option B. All of these. Azure can do it all. Azure can do all of them, of course. Question number 46. True or false, you can create your own policies if built-in Azure policy is not sufficient to your needs. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is option A. True. True, you can create custom policies using JSON. Question number 47. Why would someone prefer a consumption-based pricing model as opposed to a time-based pricing model? Option A. You can easily predict the cost of the service into the future. Option B. It is always cheaper to pay for consumption than to pay by the hour. Option C. The pricing model is simpler and easier to understand. Option D. You can save a lot of money if you don't use the resource often as opposed to having it available for use 24-7. The correct answer is option D. You can save a lot of money if you don't use the resource often as opposed to having it available for use 24-7. Consumption-based model, paying for something based on how much you used, as opposed to paying for something no matter if you use it or not. Question number 48. What hardware device is required to exist or be installed on your company network in order to set up a site-to-site -site VPN? Option A. Application Gateway. Option B. VPN Gateway. Option C. Virtual Machine. Option D. Virtual Network. The correct answer is Option B. VPN Gateway. A VPN Gateway needs to be configured to connect to Azure for a private network to be established. Question number 49. Which of the following is a feature of the Cool Access tier for Azure Storage? Option A. Much cheaper to store your files than the Hot Access tier. Option B. Most expensive option when it comes to bandwidth cost to access your files. Option C. Cheapest option when it comes to bandwidth cost to access your files. Option D. Significant delays in accessing your data, up to several hours. The correct answer is option A. Much cheaper to store your files than the hot access tier. Cool access tier offers cost savings when you expect to store your files and not need to access them often. Question number 50. Where is Azure's region in Africa located? Option A. South Africa. Option B. Egypt. Option C. Cameroon. 
Option D. Nigeria. The correct answer is option A. South Africa. Azure's only African data centers are located in South Africa.